earlier this evening, I had a very nice time with, with my friend This Week in Linux. Jordan, you did a perfect job on your stream today, you know, kind of controlling 57 people, just asking you questions every other second, and you're quickly reading through them and trying to decide, okay, who's talking to each other and who's probably addressing me. So that, that, that's a challenge in itself. That's why I don't stream all too often. Good evening, this is Frank, Stan Poodle, coming at you live. And I'm going to do this video titled Linux Mint 9 versus Ubuntu 10.04. I have, as you can see here, my trusty Dell laptop with Linux Mint 9 on it. I've been working on it all day today. I've been having a good time, and I'll get to that in detail. I think I am now pretty qualified to compare the two from my user perspective. I have two laptops, and at first both of my laptops were dual booted with Ubuntu 10.04. Then I figured, you know, I really I can't stop thinking about Linux Mint 9. It's it's a really nice operating system too. And but I just it's such an opportunity cost, meaning that if if I take 9, it means I'm not taking Ubuntu. Well, lucky for me, I have two PCs at home. Linux Mint 8 and I didn't get along too well with with my hardware. I didn't I did not want to go through the trouble of troubleshooting at all when there's so many other distros to be seen. So, I you know, maybe most of it was just me not doing doing as much research as I've probably done in other ones like Ubuntu, but I just left it alone in the dust. But Linux Mint 9, I feel like, is is, is very stable. Linux is seems to be going a little bit more mainstream with the, the look and feel of Linux Mint. However, it still helps to know something, at least on the beginner level, about Linux. You know, it uh, it has its command, it has its terminal, of course, but you don't have to use it hardly at all. The the GUI programs are are, are very easy to use. Here's a few other things I love about Linux Mint. Uh, right now, the I, my my theme that I've chosen, uh, it's called Wild Mint. And if I go to Preferences, here to Appearance, and the color is not very good on my screen here with, with the lighting I have all around here, so just bear with me, all right? But uh, what, what Linux Mint comes standard with is Shiki Wise. I, I think it's pretty cool with the, with the black uh, border around the window at the top. What I don't like, and this is my own opinion, I know half people that really like Linux Mint may disagree with me. The Mint menu, but uh, with, with the Mint menu here, if this was just default out of the box, it would be kind of a light gray, borderline white look. And I don't know, it just, to me, it looks like kind of a dirty newspaper feeling, okay? I immediately try and go change the color settings around. You see, my, my eyes are very sensitive and I like darker colors. The, the update shield looks really, really good. And so, and the cool thing about the, I have wireless right now. The cool thing about Linux Mint Wireless is it tells me exactly what percentage my wireless is coming in, whether it's 90%, 80%, 100%, 98%. Where most other distros like like Ubuntu 10.04 that I've seen, it just tells me, okay, I'm logged on. Compiz works really well. Again, just like Ubuntu, my last video to you, I haven't done too much in Compiz. I you know work the the brightness right here. That's Compiz working right there. And another thing, here's the here's the cube spin right here. I'll just spin it a couple more times for you here. <laughs> now here's one thing. All right, standard in all the Ubuntu distros, you get this four window icon at the bottom on the on the taskbar and you could click on each window and have different things in different windows. Linux Mint doesn't even come with that and I'm, I'm, I'm going to probably go visit the forums if nobody says anything but if any of you know how I can get that little icon back with the four windows you know the Mint install has been has been changed to software manager. Software manager I don't like it has a lot of useful things. When you first pull it up, the menu looks a lot like Ubuntu 10.04 Software Manager. But from there, I think Linux Mint, it's like they started a project and you just quit right there. You know, I'm really upset that there were several good programs. Synaptic had everything. Now there's there's a, there's a few things removed from Synaptic. Add or remove was perfect. I never saw, in my opinion, I never saw a better program really than add or remove programs. And the Ubuntu Software Center is getting better and better, and I really like that as well in Ubuntu. Well, the Mint Software Manager is the pits. For example, okay, Mint came with no games. That's fine. I never liked the standard games that came with GNOME. 
and when I, when I click on games, it had the same exact icon per game, and everything was teeny tiny print, and for the most part, it was like GTK, WZR, blah, 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 just, it was code. It was code. Not that that's a bad thing either, but I could go into Synaptic Manager and read that for code. And I'm trying to decide, you know, this is supposed to be a user-friendly thing for Download Manager and get what you want, yet, you know, half the things off of the, uh, the software, the software manager, you know, isn't playing very easy to what I consider the Linux newbie crowd. I'm not saying that I'm the, I'm the newbie guy. I, maybe I am in some, in some respect. So I think the software manager is really bad. And it just needs, maybe in the next distro, or it, it can improve. I really enjoy Ubuntu 10.04. And the, the, the bugs from 10.04 are also in Linux Mint. So for some of you that say, and if it, if it works for you from experience, I can't argue with that. But for, for some of you that automatically jump to the conclusion that, well, Linux Mint is just an all-around better distro and it has everything better than, than Ubuntu 10.04, that's more, I think, uh, preferential. Because the bugs that I've seen, the bugs, the really bad bugs from Ubuntu 10.04 are also part of this. The brightness, let me show you. It's not brightening at all. Yeah, I have the icon come up, but it doesn't work at all. The sound, I've already tried on my headphones, won't work. The, the sound jacks aren't working. The sound works on it beautifully. You know, I can watch YouTube videos and anything I want. The thing about Linux Mint is... It has it has a sort of a different look and feel. It has some nice wallpaper backgrounds. That's another good thing. You know, I like the icons across the bottom. I like it standard. It looks like Windows. It inherits whatever issues that that Ubuntu 10.04 has that I've seen into Linux Mint. In that case, it goes back to me saying Ubuntu 10.04 or is it is it Linux Mint that I like? I, I, can't, I honestly I'm like 50/50 on the both. Maybe maybe seriously, more like 60/40. 60, 60 being Ubuntu 10.04. And, and this being Linux Mint. This is just, this is more of the welcoming Linux operating system to someone who's very used to Windows. And anybody that I know in real life that wants to try something Linux, but not stray too far from Windows with the look and feel, I say Linux Mint is great. Ubuntu is just user friendly, is easy, and it's so, so fun. It has in its latest release, it has tried to mirror a little bit more like a Mac OS, yet still keep the Ubuntu and the GNOME things going and the updates and everything else. I I love the I, I've I've gotten used to the X you know the X out of the window being on the upper left hand side, whereas Linux Mint has on the right hand side. That's fine too. I'm used to that. So either way is fine. But Ubuntu has just done a beautiful job just letting that stick out there. It's a little pill that moves back and forth like this and it's just a beautiful color pink moving on red and everything is just so pleasing on the eyes. Now granted the thing that Ubuntu 104 I think doesn't have on Linux Mint, it has fewer desktop pictures to choose from in comparison to Mint and, and Mint has a lot of really great celebratory desktop pictures all about Linux Mint you know like showing the icons and everything else. Uh, one one of my complaints about Ubuntu 10.04, this is one of the things that drove me to go ahead and just dual boot this laptop to Linux Mint, okay? Not ha instead of having them both on 10.04. But one of my quirks is, one of my favorite things about 10.04 is that I like to have those changing screens of all the space, you know, the space, the stars, the black hole, the planet Earth, you know? But each time it changes pictures, which is about every 20 minutes or so, <laughs> it freezes up my Firefox. It's really, really annoying. And that's only on this system, too, because on my Lenovo system, I worked for th two hours one time just watching videos and having fun and being on the forums and all that fun stuff. Is Linux Mint better than Ubuntu 10.04 or vice versa? I don't really know because it's all preferential. I like Linux Mint. I like what it's out there for, and I, I like it that especially it's friendly to the people that came over from Windows, which I know is most of us. But I love Ubuntu. I, I hope that they improve some of the things I've, you know, uh, I've griped about a little bit. But I, I have faith and trust and, and a sincere just desire to see where where Ubuntu is going to where Canonical and Ubuntu is going to go. Uh, that's my video. I I'll be working part of the time on Ubuntu 10.04 on my Lenovo uh, laptop, and I'll be working part of the time on Linux Mint.